what happens normally in uh, civilization changes is shifts in culture of this magnitude, usually in the past, have taken a couple of centuries. Now we've seen this happen in 40, 50 years. So it's actually a speed up of how civilizations change. finding in cultural change in the larger society is that what we've had in the 19th and 20th centuries and specifically is a, an urbanization and an industrialization of the population. So 50 years ago everybody knew that there were two kinds of people, the city people who were hip and up to date and you know very efficient and so on and the country people who were reliable and traditional and religious and so on. Well, the traditionals have gone down to from half the people to a quarter of the people or less, uh, but the moderns didn't win because a new population, a third group appeared, which is really planetary as opposed to urban, which is really after modernism trying to make a wiser, more sustainable culture. Americans and about 80 to 90 million Western Europeans who are literally creating a new culture. And they have different values, a different view of what's real in the world, and a different lifestyle. And the thing that we found that was most interesting about them is it's not about psychological differences, it's about cultural differences. That these are people who are just as distinct as the people who are, say, the French Canadians in Canada, or the difference between the Walloons and the Flemish in Belgium. So it's not about history, it's not about religion or language, but it is about values what people take as their most important life priorities. So all these things make up a subculture, a distinct way of life, a distinct set of beliefs, and a distinct set of ideas about how their children should be, how the country should be, how the planet should develop, and so on. What we discovered was that the cultural creatives are people who have cared a lot typically about a half a dozen of the 20 or 30 new kinds of social movements and consciousness movements that have appeared from the 60s on. Every movement that's appeared, women's movement, environmental movement, peace movement, jobs and social justice, um, alternative health care, uh, organic or as you say in your bio foods, um, just new kinds of spirituality, new kinds of psychotherapy, all those new, 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 all, if you just make a list of all the new movements that have appeared from the 60s right up to the present, you'll find that most of the population cares about none or one or two at the most. These people care about a half a dozen. We call it the two coins of the real for the culture creatives. And the forming of the new worldview has been done with lots and lots of other involved people who are learning to talk about things with each other in new ways. Mm -hmm.